Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a programming assistant for the St. John's County Public Library System. You are watching In the Bubble, a program where we make things. Spring is in the air and I definitely want to get to some spring cleaning, but no matter what I do, I always seem to have clutter on any flat surface. It happens at work too. If there's a flat surface, there seems to be clutter on that flat surface. Well, I checked out this book from the St. John's County Public Library System called Welcome Home. Um, a Cozy Minimalist Guide to Decorating and Hosting All Year Round by Mai Quillen Smith. And one of the things that she recommends is that on every flat surface that you have in your home, you should have a tray. And then you can just put things in the tray. If it's on the flat surface, it needs to be in the tray. And then once that tray is full, um, then it's time to put the things away. So I thought that might be a, a good trick to um, keeping a clean surface. So I thought I'd go ahead and try it and um, use this big book of Mod Podge that we also have in the library system to come up with a craft that we could do together. So today we are going to make a decorative tray. To make this project, you're gonna need a wooden tray that um, you can get this from any kind of craft store. I got this from Michael's for about um, I think $6.99, but you can get this from any craft store or online or possibly even um, some of the bigger box stores like Walmart um, or Target might have these in their crafting sections. You'll also need some Mod Podge, which again, you can get that at any craft store. Um, you will need some fabric of your choice that's going to line your tray. You will need a pair of scissors, and you might, if you have a X-Acto knife blade, that might be um, handy um, for just trimming inside um, any excess fabric, um, but that's not completely necessary. Um, you also might want, um, well, you'll need a paintbrush. Um, I've got a bigger brush. You're basically going to be painting the entire surface of um, the tray, both sides of it. Um, so a bigger brush would probably be helpful, but maybe having a smaller brush on hand, um, they might come in handy just for getting in those tiny little crevices. Um, a ruler for measuring your fabric. Um, I also used a, or grabbed a white um, pencil, just I thought that maybe I could mark the fabric on the back, um, but you could use, you know, whatever works for you. A bone folder might help when you're trying to um, get the creases out of the um, fabric as you're gluing it down. If you don't have a bone folder, then you can just use the edge of like a, a credit card or a gift card, just like a plastic hard plastic surface basically. You might also want to have like a, a um, like a paper bowl that you could put the um, Mod Podge in or a paper plate so that you can um, dip your brush into it easier. Um, also some kind of surface um, protector so that you don't get glue all over your nice table. So. The first thing I, I've done is I've gone ahead and I measured the inside of the tray and then I cut out a piece of cloth to be to lay inside of it. Um, and then I, I trimmed as best as I could the little tiny um, threads that hang off, but there's there's still a couple here and I'm okay with that. So I've laid out a towel on my table, and now I'm just going to take my paintbrush and coat the bottom of the tray completely. And try to get in that corner. And it's okay, a little bit of the Mod Podge is coming up onto the sides, and that's okay because I'm actually going to end up
putting Mod Podge over the entire surface of the tray. Okay, and so now that I've got the the cloth laid down, now I'm just going to start taking my bone folder and trying to work out any of the creases that have, or bubbles that have um, come into existence as I'm here, as I've been laying it down. So now it's nice and flat, and I'm gonna let that sit for probably about five to 10 minutes to let that dry. Okay, so I've let, um, I've let my fabric dry for about five minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead now and use an X-Acto knife blade just to kind of trim off like here. It it's, might be hard to see, but it's, it's coming up onto the sides of the tray and I really only want the bottom cover. So I'm just gonna use my blade to kind of trim along that section. I might need to use my scissors just to pull that final little bit up. Okay. There we go, that's good. Okay, so now I'm ready to coat the top of the tray. I'm gonna add a little bit more Mod Podge to my bowl. And now I'm just going to cover pretty much the entire, the top of the fabric. And then also the inside um, wooden section of the tray. And this will seal the fabric to make it water resistant. I mean, I'm still not going to want to stick this in the dishwasher or anything, but um, it will will help protect the tray if there's any um, anything wet that gets on it. You know, like a coffee cup or what have you. I'm kind of known for my coffee cup spills in this house, so all right. Let's see, I'm going to go all along the top here. And then also get all the wood on the inside. And this is when you might want to go ahead and switch to the, the smaller paintbrush. Because actually it's probably a little bit better at getting the fine details here. On the inside. And the Mod Podge dries clear and it dries so quickly that so sometimes I'm like, did I already paint this? I'm not sure. <laughs> so when in doubt, just paint it again. I'm just going to do one more layer along the top. And I'll go just leave this set it aside for five or ten minutes again to let it dry before I move on to the next step. After allowing the inside to dry, you want to go ahead and just paint the entire outside of the tray with your Mod Podge, the same way you did the first side. 
And there you go, there's one fabric line tray. That was really pretty easy to make. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun and I hope you did it as well. I hope that you are able to keep your surfaces clean and I hope we see you soon at the library. Um, if you have any questions, if you want help picking out any other books, please just ask anyone at your local library. See you soon, have a great day.